I just kissed Andy McDowell's ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's not an unattractive woman. She's all right. She's, She's all right. She's not an unattractive yeah. woman, I have I, to tell I, you. I actually worked with her before. Really? Yeah, and she completely forgot. I went, hey, she went, hi, nice to meet you. I went, and it's Jerry. She went, oh, my God! How are you? Well, yeah, yeah. Sure, that was exactly more. like her when you did that Is right, that right? Yeah, Oh, yeah. my God! Yeah, I wanted like... to do your nails when you did that. <laughs> How are you? Let me be the first to say it. Welcome to America, Mr. Bond. <laughs> How are you? She's like, what do you think? You gonna do it? I think you should do it. I think you should do it. Uh, well, it's not been offered to me, so it's not. It's well, not who are they going to offer it to? But you're right, I could yeah. kick your ass. You I could like kick my ass. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You could. I fully admit it. I'm, I'm over the hill. I'm past it. I'm past my best. But you, you're young. You could go out there. You could kick my ass. I saw your Sean Connery impersonation earlier on. It's, mm. it's far better than mine anyway. We should but try you, one but, together. Ah, but you. Wouldn't be doing Sean Connery, you'd be doing James Bond new. That would be no, you doing I'd it. I'd probably just be trying to do Sean Connery. Well, I'd be fine. <laughs> I'd that start would... speaking like that, yes. Yes, yeah, sure. we can happened? talk like that all the time. All the time, yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's good, though. It makes me feel more Scottish yeah. when I talk like that. It's got so bad now, I can't understand what Sean Connery's saying. It's kind of like, no. yes, well, sure. Yeah, yeah. You're sure. It's like he's underwater a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So listen, uh, are you? You're not from America, then, are you? <laughs> you're. Uh... <laughs> no. Uh, I like. I like you a bit earlier on as well, where you were um, like basically saying, "Remember, I'm I'm supposed to be Scottish on the show." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Craig and I are both from Long Beach. Yeah. This whole thing. Shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut <laughs> up. I hate to I hate to give the game away, but we're both from Long Beach born and bred. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We we were we were homies, in fact. We were homies. Yeah. I've known them all my life. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, so you're from Scotland, you say? Yes. Yes. How'd you get along with the uh, with the newspaper fellas over there? Do you have a good time with those guys? You know, uh, allegedly, mm -hmm. I don't know, allegedly, the Scottish press have a bad name. You know, I hate the Scottish press. <laughs> no, no. I have to say, yeah. I, I've never had much fun with them myself. No, no. 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 Do they and give you a hard time? They, they, well, do you know what? They they actually think they're being nice to me. Yes. But they but it's very humiliating. You know, and and the the, the most the perfect. Uh, can I give you an example? Please do. Th thank you. Um, Otherwise, this whole show <laughs> sure is. A waste of time, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, and this is one we rehearsed earlier. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> if only. <laughs> no, but I, if uh, I, I did, I, I did an interview once, and it was the one thousandth time I think I'd been asked if I was going to be Bond. Yes. And I said, Yeah, I'm in talks with Barbara Broccoli, and if and if Anne Widdicombe, now Anne Widdicombe is a like an eighty year old fat balding politician, female. I said, If she can be my Bond girl, I'll do it. Mm. And, and, and then I said, no, the rumours are very flattering, but they're not true. And it, well, the next day it was in the Scottish press. It was Gerard Butler is the next James Bond. He admitted it himself in a television interview yesterday. Now, they don't realise that then all these magazines picked it up and started saying that I yeah. was walking about saying I was the next James Bond. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't, really. You know, no. I'm not. But I, I'm going to walk around saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk around. But then, I, no, oh, there's yeah, a yeah, no, 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 no. And then... <laughs> and then... And then my mother called me up and she says, well, you're not doing, you're not doing yourself any favours because, you know, I said, what are you talking about? She said, well, you're touting yourself about as the next James Bond. And I said, what? And she said, you're in the paper wearing a tuxedo with a gun in your hand like this. I'm like, I never took a shot. So they Did put they, my they head, head on they a... put my head on <laughs> somebody else's mind. I'm like this. I, I hate when they do that. Yeah. It was the three, it, or the four contenders, me, Catherine Zeta-Jones, a monkey and a fish. <laughs> like, it, it's like, everybody is... is you know, they be. used to do that with my head on drunk guys falling out of bars. <laughs> no. no, that was that your That was head. me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> and that was me next to you. Yes, I know. I know. Do you like, do you live over there? Do you live over here now? What, what's well, the story? My, my base is probably London, but I just... I just, I'm going to go the same way as Andy McDowell, I think. I just, not, not that I am a movie star, but I just bought Ooh, a Oh, you're on your way, son. You're on your way. With your help, Craig. Yeah, absolutely. With your help. On your way. <laughs> um, I, I, I have a, I bought a place in New York eight months ago. Right. That has a bed. 
Nice. And, I, and I've never, and I haven't spent one night there. And, and, and it's a co-op, and the, and the head of the co-op, I think, hates me right now because he's like, why did he buy this place? Yeah. No, because I haven't been there. But so I've been spending more time here recently, and, yeah. but I'm in a hotel. If anybody's got any space at their house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. You, almost, you almost hit the roof. Wash your head. <laughs> you know. You might want to be careful about that kind of talk in America, son. Uh, <laughs> it's not Scotland. It's not, oh, come on, I have a cup of tea. No, yeah. they'll, they'll be wafted or something else as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be giving it. Ah, no, no, no. There you go. <laughs> hey. And you're right to enjoy yourself. Absolutely. And enjoy yourself. Do you think you'll move to America? Do you think you'd, you would ever move here? Because uh, actually, quite frankly, I wish you would. Oh, uh, yeah. Because uh, yeah. well, then, we should, we should, then we should we could, be best friends. Yeah, we should. I think you know, so, I yeah. have to tell you, never, there, there's certain people who you, you, you run into other people who say, do you know so-and-so? Yeah. I have never had it more than with you. I get it with you uh, all, with, the, all time the time as well. You know, I, that happened to me. Hey, how, do you know Craig Ferguson? I'm like, don't you start. You know, yeah. I'm sick. I'm <laughs> You say that to me all the time. Say, oh, you and Jenny were probably there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah. we weren't there. Yeah. And they always say, you guys would get on great. Yeah, you know? but we don't. No, we don't. Obviously. We hate each other. No, I know. We I don't. Know. <laughs> that, that's the thing. I think, I think that when, when you do the Bond, when you, when you become Bond, let's just say you become Bond, yes. right? right? Let's just I'll be that. the villain. I'll okay. be the, I'll be the anti-Bond. I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like evil, evil Bond. Or like, maybe we should start our own Bond. Yeah, oh, we'll do our own yeah. Bond. Yeah, yeah. Like Brook Bond. Brook Bond. Bond. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, and I'll be evil and I'll have a false hand and stroke a cat. Yeah. Don't say it. Don't say it. But it's like, what's, what's the, 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 the Peter Sellers in the movie when he has the hand that goes out of control? Yeah, 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 Dr. Stranger. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that. You get my vote as, yeah. as James Bond. I want you to come back on this show anytime you want, even if no one else can understand as we can tell. <laughs> Jerry Butler, everybody. Here, Frankie, in theaters now. We'll be right back with Kathleen Edwards. Welcome back, my filthy little badgers. Wow. <laughs> my next guest is a very talented actor. He stars in the new film 300, which opens this Friday. Take a look at this. Jerry Butler, everyone. It really is. Do, do these people follow you around all the time? Yeah. This is my family. I, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. She stayed with me last night. Right. And then, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny you say The Beatles because I just saw, you know, Jennifer Hudson on here. One of my favorite movies is Mr. Saturday Night Live and, you know, Billy Crystal plays the yeah, comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he gets his big break. And That's right. Comedian, on the a talk show and he's like, you put me on after The, the Beatles. Beatles. That's right. And I felt like that. I was like, you put me on after, after an Jenna. Oscar winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Whoa, look at it, Jerry. I it's, won. It's a lovely car. That's what I won. That's a prized item in show business, that. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people taste that. That's some of the finest sparkly water you'll ever drink. Yeah. It's not quite Scottish nice. water. You're, you're, I was going to say, you're not from around these parts, are you? You're, uh, <laughs> are you still living? We did that gag last time. Nah, probably, yeah. Yeah. I can remember that. Listen, day. don't <laughs> think that's the only one that isn't recycled. There's all the recycled <laughs> What about the? Uh, are you have you moved here then? Are you in LA or are you in New? You're in New York. Are you still there? Um, did I? Yeah. Yeah, you I, were living in New York. Right? Well, no, I had a place in New York. Oh right, I've that now, doesn't necessarily mean you were there. No, I've I've had it for three years. Uh huh. Uh, meanwhile, there's a condominium been built next door, seven floors. I didn't even know it existed. There was nothing there. Now it's built. People are 
living there, and I still haven't done my downstairs. So I haven't stayed one night in this place that I've really? had for three years. Yeah. yeah. So You've I'm, been out buying bracelets. I've been out buying yeah. a lot of bracelets. Yeah. I made these. I made these myself. This is getting ridiculous. I walked down the street like this now. <laughs> what is the idea with the bracelets then? Do the do people send them to you? Um, no, no. I just. Like, <laughs> I was, I was given one and then this cost about 25 pence. I, I, um, right. I picked it up in London when I was trying to get jewellery for my little nieces for Christmas and I thought, you know what, they're not I'll getting it. I'll get myself a big sparkly bracelet. I love right? this one. Man. Did you, did you get fit. yourself a Hello Kitty at the same time? Or, uh, <laughs> are you still on the cigarettes or have you stopped? Um, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> You, you know, you were just in my, my dressing well, I can, room. Yeah, yeah, no, I... Yeah, I, I, it gets I thought that might have been the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still... I'm it's still hard, it's very hard it, to it stop. Is, I found it, it very difficult. Oh, you've done it? Yeah. I did, about yeah. ten years ago. It was, yeah. And I still kind of like, oh, yeah. 39 times now, in the last few years. It's getting, but you've stopped smoking? It's getting ridiculous. Well, yeah. I don't think it counts as stopped smoking, as if you keep standing <laughs> it. Well, what was it Mark Twain said? He said, stopping smoking's easy. I've done it hundreds of times. Is that it? Is that yeah, that stopping. sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what are you going right. to do? I've, I've get, never been very good Are you getting the patch or the... I've tried. I have tried the patch, right. Zyban. I've been hypnotised 22 times. Really? I've been to Alan Carr in London seven times now. Who's uh, that? Is that the stop smoking guy? Yeah, he's the stop smoking guy. Hold on, I've had my ears electrolyzed. I've had my veins inject, injected with sodium pentothal, and I even was I even was in Jerusalem, right? I was in Jerusalem at the place where Jesus was laid out, and I remember I had this epiphany. It's like this little kind of cubbyhole where he was laid out, and I thought. God, if he died for mankind, the yeah. least I can do is it's give up the fags. smoking, yeah. You know, and, and I thought, this is it. I felt this energy, this rush. I really thought people could see me glowing, but... Yeah. You know, <laughs> two, two hours later, I was trying in my best Hebrew to ask for a packet of them. I'll be ready. You're not a religious man, are you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about this movie then. The, 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 what, what is the 300? What's that about? Oh, 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been so many. Oh, right. Uh, no. <laughs> Do you uh, smoke in this movie or no? <laughs> no, I didn't smoke during this. I quit for five months. Oh, well, there you are then. And yeah. then just towards the end of the film, it was a beautiful snowy night in Montreal and I kind of walked down the street and I thought, I'd like a fag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd like a cigarette. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I know That's, what you mean, but it, it's... Uh, my yeah. career ended on the Craig Ferguson show. <laughs> <anyway. laughs> Strangely <laughs> enough, so did mine. Yeah. Oh, now I'm hitting his leg. No, 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 oh, it's all right. God. It's all right. It's all right. So you start to smoke in... I like Montreal. Do you like Montreal? Montreal's amazing. Oh, what yeah. a place, oh, man. I know. Too much fun. Too much yeah, fun. Yeah, but it's it hard because of all the training you're doing, and, and it's got the best restaurants, you know, the richest foods, you know, great mm. chefs, and... Um, on a That's not all they have in Montreal, though, yeah, is it? No, I, I wouldn't know. I was yeah. too busy working. <laughs> too busy. Excuse me, it's me you're talking to. Not, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, what was uh, the You asked me a question. I didn't about, ask you uh, a question. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the film. The, the film we, yeah, 300. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Your, your guy there on the monitor was going, God, that looks awesome. He goes, now, are you the, are you the god? And I'm like, no, that's me there. He's like, that's it. <laughs> he gets me. He goes, oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know, between masks and beards. And yeah, you know, it's good. Yeah. Do you, do you have, how do you get your cigarette in when you do all that business? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll be there in a minute. No, I, told, I didn't smoke. Right, oh, that's all. Yeah, just until no. the end when you had that moment walking down the street. <laughs> and then... I went from the best behaved guy, like they were so impressed. I was training so much yeah. and pumping all the time and I was so focused. And then about three weeks before we started filming, when I started smoking again, I was the only guy on set smoking. So I'd run off into a corner and start, you know, smoking up. And they're like, Jay, you can't do that in the studio. So no, you, you know, can't. So, no, I, know. so um, I, uh, I turned from very quickly from the good guy to the, bad, to the bad guy, whatever. Anyway, 300. 300, yeah. We're out of time. We'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome Jerry Butler, everybody. Jerry Butler. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Hello. 
Gerard! Oh, Gerard Butler, it's so lovely to see you, Gerard. Lovely to see you too, Mr. Ferguson. Gerard. <laughs> I've known that I'm an American citizen, I'm going to call you Gerard. Everybody yeah. calls you Gerard. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Gerard. 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 Yeah, Gerard. Yeah. I can't do that accent. And we do the opposite in Scotland. It's Gerard. Gerard. It's like the, it's, yeah, Gerard. Gerard. It's the emphasis on the first part, but here in America, it's Gerard, and it goes Gerard. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and finish my name so that I can wrestle you in jello. What the hell is going on? Wake up. I love making movies. What can I say? Yeah, that, that was uh, that must have been a very difficult day on the. Uh... It was. It was. Uh, yeah, that was a hard day. It was a hard day. And oh, it, bet and it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, that was. Uh, it was an interesting scene. And then we finished. And I'm like, No, we're not finished. You have to do this again. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Gotta get it right, get it right. <laughs> this is, the last time I spoke to you, I was, we were doing a bit for that movie, I'm in that movie, and you were here, and you were pretending to be an American. I was here, that's right. Hey, it was and you right, were pretending yeah. to be American, I and, I, and I was pretending to be me. Was, and yeah. that was weird, because you had to use a different voice, I and know. you're like, hey, hey, hey. and then, oh no, you have to be. Yeah. He, you, you had the far better deal, I have to say, you know, because you got oh, to be... I, no. No, really? Well, maybe I had not the better there. deal. Maybe not there. Okay. Right. But I'd say generally, you know, to come in here and play yourself, although you did a bloody good job of Thanks playing yourself. Thanks very much. I thought, yeah. I, I've yeah. never seen a better Craig Ferguson than the Craig Ferguson I you actually, played. No, I have seen better. I've seen better. I've seen better. Um, I've seen better. Well, Ewan McGregor a does a very good <laughs> Craig Ferguson. I've seen it die. It's very funny. Does he do you? Yeah. No, no. Well, not does he do you. No, he does. Whoops. Hey, the last no, the last time I saw you uh, was in New York. We were yes. doing that. Um, we we're doing that um, DreamWorks movie. I know. We're in two movies together. Two well, movies. you're in two movies, and I'm uh, in two movies a little bit. No, 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 no. I'm, no, that's I'm not. like your little buddy. <laughs> I'm like part of your little rat pack. Yeah. I can go. Yeah. Out of the way, Jerry's coming through. Jerry's coming through. I can do all that if you want. You, uh, by the way, this is I want it, this is how much this is the, the card I just got from from. Could you mind me bringing this on? Yeah. Right. Welcome back, Numpty. <laughs> Love Craig. That was that's the card he just wrote me. I had to I had to I had to bring that out. Well, Numpty, they don't I, know what a Numpty is. Oh, you don't know what a Numpty is? No, no, no. A numpty, a numpty is uh, from the old country. It's a term that expresses friendliness and... Um... <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> no, it's very affectionate. Numpty means you're kind of like, you know, you're a bit of an idiot, but you're a sweet, you know... You're, you're a sweet idiot. You're a sweet idiot. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put this back in my pocket because, you know... I'm... Oh, you numpty. <laughs> Um, but anyway, we'll get well, we were back in New to York. It. We were in New York, and then you said you went out. You were going out to go and uh, get some uh, chicken nuggets. <laughs> and, that, and that's the last I saw. And that's the last I saw you. What? Yeah, I was doing the thing. Like I was in the studio pretending to be the Viking, and you were doing the Viking. And you said I, you were doing the other Viking, the chief Viking. I was right. doing the little Viking buddy. Right, yeah. And then. And then you went out to get some chicken nuggets. Never saw you again. I thought I didn't say goodbye to you. No. Oh, no, I was supposed to call you later because you were going to come out on the town and I, I didn't, that's true. But that doesn't mean I, I don't... Uh, I'm busy! I, I, you know. But by the way, can I say one time I called you and you didn't call me back? Uh, I'm busy! Time. Yeah, so how much of a friendship have we really no, got going no, on? No, no. <laughs> I know, I know. No, well, you know, we're, we're busy, you know, we've we're got busy. things going on. Did you get but, were the nuggets tasty? Very tasty, yeah. very, very nice. But, um, but I don't, if, for somebody who doesn't eat chicken nuggets, I swear, they were delicious. Um, no, <laughs> um, but by the way, yeah, that's, we, we are doing pretty much everything together now. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Like, yep. I, I, and, yep. and, and, and that's not fair because his, your role, Gobber, Gobber, in, in the movie, the DreamWorks movie, How to Train Your Dragon, is a fantastic role. It's, it's a great than role. Mine. Yeah, no, it's a great role. But yeah. your role, yours, that's the big role, the one with the, where you're the guy with a, just, oh, yeah. <laughs> but you get to say things like, it's time, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I get to go, oh, I don't know, I'm a bit scared. And you get to say things like, it's time for the challenge, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I get to say it's time. People go, oh, that's cool. And then you speak, and everybody laughs. It's like, I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm, oh, no, I guess, I, mine's just kind of funny as well. It but is yours funny, is that, yeah, you know. It's yours funny. is the... No, no, yours is better. Oh, no, no, yours, yours is, is better. better. No, <laughs> is better. <laughs> no, I know. So listen, have you... Did you, uh, 
have you have you moved here or are you still in New York? <laughs> um, I, I between both between both. Oh, I, you're by curious now. I bought it. Okay. <laughs> I know. Every time somebody says I'm by before they finish coastal, I always think they're going somewhere yeah. else. I'm like, no, you're by coastal. I mean, I mean more a woman, you know. I'm by <gasps> coastal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine, whatever. That's... So, uh, have you got a bachelor pad here then? Um, I have a house. I don't know if you call it a bachelor pad. It's not, I mean, can well, I... do you live in it on your own? I live in it on my own, yeah. So it's, it's a bachelor, bachelor pad. pad yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a bachelor pad. Yeah. Do you have a Do you have a zebra skin shag rug? Um, no, I sold it for my <laughs> sold it for a, for um, a leopard skin shag rug. Actually, <laughs> after I got divorced, I used to have a bachelor pad, uh, but I had my son, so I had to baby proof it. He was very young at the time, so it was a baby proofed bachelor pad. <laughs> it's kind of it weird. Really yeah. Work, no. <laughs> Everybody was like, my son was like, "What the hell is this?" I was like. Oh. <laughs> But it, what's funny is that he's he, still now, he's eight now, he'll say things like, well, let's listen to Barry White while we have breakfast tonight. <laughs> like we used to. All right. Oh, that's very funny. And the thing was, the thing was, there was never anybody there. It was just me and him. But I thought, oh, if we play Barry White, it'll be all, you know, bachelor party. So he's like, do, 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 do. It's about time you had some kids. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, Come on, then. No, well, it, yeah, it's time. No, it's, it's time. time, yeah, I yeah. just, you know, need to find a woman first, I guess. I mean, that helps. Yeah. Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, I don't think eeny, I don't think eeny, meeny, miny, mo is the way to go about this. Uh, this is a big decision in your life that you don't go eeny, meeny, well, actually, it might work as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look who's talking. Well, there's some truth. I know. Hey, uh, are you interested in flying? Uh, you said you wanted to come flying with me. Do you want to go flying? Yeah, I'll come fly with All you. All right, I'll, yeah. I'll take you up and fly around in the little plane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Will you get no, scared? We, uh, I'll get very scared, especially yeah. with you. I mean, um, no, it'd be, in fact, Robert Lekerik, who, who directed Ugly Truth, he was saying, when we did Ugly Truth, did you have your license at that point? No. Oh, you didn't have it? So no. do you have it now? No. Okay. Because he was just asking. He was saying. Oh, no, I just like on? I just like to fly around and I break the law. Right. But the thing is, the cop cars can't. Once you take off, they can't catch you. <laughs> like, woo, woo, you're like, so long, sucker. <laughs> I recognize that voice. That sounds like Craig Ferguson. Isn't it? Yes. Okay, we'll get him. That's my baby. There's a couple of cops outside waiting for you. That's I'll the... go out that way today. <laughs> or go out through the window. And... <laughs> And down the fire escape onto the paper. <laughs> no, I'd love to come flying with well, you. Well, come flying. No, I think you'd like it. I think you'd enjoy it. Now, what else have you been up to then? Uh, oh, the ugly truth. Oh, no, we talked about that. That's did fine. We, yeah, yeah. Did we? Did you show? Oh, you showed a clip. Yeah, you showed yeah, a clip showed with a clip jello. Yeah. Well, you should, do you not have one with you in it? I no. Do we have a clip with me in it? All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll bump out with that then. <laughs> Jerry Butler, everybody. Jerry Butler. We men, I think I can say we men. We're not exactly known for our expertise in, in matters of the heart. But I hear you have some very uh, interesting ideas uh, uh, and, and theories. What, what, what advice would you give to the good people out there that are looking, uh, looking for love? My advice would be, uh, don't do it. <laughs> I mean, try to find lust instead. It's uh, a lot easier and a lot less messy. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, Very good. I, can I just tell you how much I love this jacket? Yes. <laughs> Look at it. It's lovely. Is it? Was it some kind of animal? Um, yeah, I guess. I, I no, no, it's not. Of... It's a special. 
thing that isn't an animal so that girls will like you. Well, that's what I, I kind of thought that if it's gonna, I want people to love me. I also want to make people want to touch me. I want to touch myself generally, but especially when I have this jacket on. Yeah. Do you like, do you enjoy touching yourself? Love it. I love it. I do it at every point. Talking about touching myself, you know when you're talking about, um, Drinking a bottle of vodka, and I was thinking, I don't even drink. You, no, I don't drink. You don't drink. Yeah. And I still wake up every morning with a 17-inch penis. Tattooed on my Oh, I see, yeah, I see, yeah. You know? I mean... No, 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 I have to ask you. I have to ask you. Please, please indulge us for a second. I want to ask you, how is Charles? How is Charles? Yeah, your boyfriend, Charles. How is he? Oh, he's very good. All right, good. He's very good. I can't believe you brought that up. That's you brought something. it up with a 17 inch penis I, your I, I, um, And that's when I fold it in half. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing was talking about madness. You know when you were saying madness, it used to be a green pen? Yeah. And now it's capital letters. This is, listen, I tell you, every time he writes me the most horrible notes, but it's in capital letters. Look, I don't know if you can get that. You again. That's how much you love me. He writes me these lovely little notes. That's like just you a, it's a, I run in capital letters so you would know I was kidding. Can I do this? Can I do what you do? What, tear it up? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> hey, hey. You, you upset Bob. Oh, I did? Yeah, Bob, Bob doesn't like it when we throw stuff on the floor. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right, you can put that in your collection if you like. <laughs> I do. How have so you been? I haven't seen you since where? New York? No, back here? When? When did I talk to you on the phone? I think we. Oh, yeah, we talked in yeah, the phone. Yeah, yeah, because I went to see some of How to Train Your Dragon, the movie that we're both doing the voices in. Yeah. Did you see any yet? Um, I did, but on a small screen, so I I'm going to go this Friday. Yeah. Go and see it. It's awesome. And, I, yeah. If I wasn't in it, I'd go and see it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I've never heard this man so excited. I tell I'm, you, he called me up. It's, no, I phoned him up. I said, it's like Lord of the Rings yeah. or something. It's incredible. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, yeah. no, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, though. But we I'd, play best friends in it. Yeah, you know, which is a real, it's hard work for us. <laughs> it's, um, now, uh, did you take up the flying? Did you take a flying lesson? I did uh, two things. I actually just flew on a jet fighter plane um, that I took a buddy of mine up and we did a dog fight and I was spinning the plane around. And you were flying the I jet fighter plane? Yeah, they give you, I mean, you're pretty high up and they, they explain, you know, I take the control, I push forward, pull up, spin it around. I, on my life. I don't know how I got to do that, but it was it was a lot of fun. Over the Mojave Desert. Um, who, who let you do this? Oh, no, I paid a fortune for it. Oh, <laughs> well, I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there was no special favours there. I thought it was like, what is this there? Because I'm a US citizen now, pal. <laughs> Where's my F-16 right? <laughs> And then, I, and then I did take a flying lesson, but now I have to... Yeah, I took a flying lesson on a, um, a single prop plane. And you like it? Went, I, I, I love it. See, I told, I, you, I, I told you you'd like it. I know. Yeah. I know you did, and so I did it. And But now I, I'm waiting. You know this TSA? Is it the TSA application? You oh, yeah, yeah. You, well, if you, are, you, are you not a citizen? No, I'm not nah, a citizen. That kind of slow yeah. you down a little bit. I know. Yeah. I have to prove I'm, I'm not a, a terrorist, and yeah, yeah. all my past misdemeanors are coming back to haunt me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Wait till the FAA starts asking you about liquor as well. Oh, oh is that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can tell them about my 17-inch penis. No, I, 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 <laughs> tattoo, my, you know. Tattoo. Yeah. Hey, are, my, you, are you hosting Saturday Night Live this week? Next week. Next, next week. week. <laughs> no, this week. Hold on. This week. Yeah. I don't know. Tomorrow I'm, or next, a week, a week tomorrow. Yes, a week tomorrow. <laughs> a week tomorrow. I'm confused. Are I'm you confused. excited about it? I'm very, very excited. And I, I know a couple of the guys on there, and I just did a movie with Jason Sudeikis, who's one of the funniest guys I ever met. So, But Thanks. I'm nervous, you know. I'm, right, I'm, yeah. So I need all your support, okay? Even if it's... Sorry. Even if it's not funny. He's got <laughs> I don't get it. It's not funny, but... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're actually... They're pretty good at that. <laughs> I got them going for you. Are you nervous? Have you ever done stand-up before? No, 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 not like... Oh, by the way, I, maybe I talked about this before, but what? Bing Hitler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was at Glasgow University. I was a law student, and we had our, um, our Friday, you know, that ball, that <laughs> once a year. But I, I, I remember hearing about it, but... It was I, Mad Friday ball. That's right, yeah, I think you were pretty... Yeah, you were pretty out of it. 
<laughs> and he got so much abuse from the audience, and I was in the crowd actually. And, and he was actually brilliant. I mean, brilliant comedian, but people there were so drunk. Oh yeah, no matter no, who got up. But there, to, like, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be fair, it was just really drunk people shouting at each other. It wasn't really. <laughs> they, they weren't there to listen. They to weren't there to listen, and I wasn't there to perform. No, you were. No. <laughs> no. Hey, they were like, yeah, yeah. And you were like. Oh, no. Good times. Good times, yeah. Did you, did you ever do stand-up, though? Never did stand-up, You no. should. Well, you're doing it on uh, Saturday Night Live. Like, you, you'll do I a guess. monologue, right? Could you? Oh, yeah, I've got to do a monologue. Yeah. yeah. So, um, no, I never did stand-up. I mean, I love to... Yeah, I'm a real performer in front of my friends. I love to stand up at a dinner table and tell a joke or two, which, what about which dancing? is actually how... Uh, about dancing. Yeah, dancing. You could do a bit of dancing on that show. I, I could You're do a great a dancer. dancer. <laughs> I got... Where's that? Great dancer. Really good dancer. When I did Gamer, there's a, if anybody saw it, but there's a, there's a <laughs> um, oh, there's the three people. Oh, no. just have to be Knock it off. off. But there's a, there's a scene in there where the kid's controlling me, and I do, you know, I do this, this thing where he controls me, and, this, and, I, and that was two years ago, and literally I was in I can't stop doing it. I just do this the whole time. I was actually going to walk it's, on it's and walk good, It's good with that jacket. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's good with that. You're like a big sexy fish. I love this jacket. I'm coming into the audience and you're all going to get a little rub, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> if you're going to if you're going to do that, you're going to need this. Yeah, yeah. I love this stuff. My, my, um, I have this doctor who tells me that I keep getting sick because. I'm always kind of like biting and sticking my fingers in my mouth. This sounds and disgusting. And your, and your nose too. You, and you my nose, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm always, and people always shake your hand. So they're like, hey, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. And, you know, like, especially a premiere where you literally shake like a thousand hands and then really? you walk away and you're all nervous. You're like, <laughs> and then two days later, you're like, achoo. <laughs> Have you had your, uh, you had a flu shot? Uh, I did. Yeah. Have I you did. had the swine flu shot? No, I haven't had the swine no, flu shot. No, you got to have that too. I had the, the flu shot, and then I've got to have a swine flu shot. And I'm like, ow, it hurts. And I was like, when they were giving me the flu shot, she was giving me a flu shot there, and, and I was holding out my hand like that, and she sees this tattoo, and she went, how can you complain about a flu shot when you have that? I said, but that's cool. Flu shots are nerdy. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's very true. That's great. That's very funny. Yeah. No, a buddy, my, my, no, sorry, my uncle actually sent me a text saying, you know, a great thing to do is get on the underground or some busy place and start, you know, speaking really loudly about what a great trip you had to Mexico, how you traveled. And you're like, yeah, and then you hang up. It's like, you know, yeah, nice to speak to you anyway. Achoo! Um, which, uh, let me get that. No, okay. You were, had a great time in Mexico. It was funnier when it just started out. I think. Yeah. It's a, an old, old, yeah, old text you know what you, you know what you want to do? That's how you want to open up on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> you got your opener. And when you, and when you got your... That's you, you're wedged in now. Uh, you're wedged in, no, you'll be I, fine. I think Saturday Night Live just cancelled. No! <laughs> they're like, oh, no. Oh, no, they're not watching. They're not watching this. Oh. <laughs> no, no, they don't bother with that. Yeah, it's lovely maybe. to see. What's, what's this film about? Do, do you go nuts in this film? A, a little bit, a little bit, but I think uh, rightly so, rightly so. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I play a, a fine, upstanding citizen, a law-abiding citizen, actually, whose uh, family are, <laughs> are, are pretty brutally murdered at the, at the beginning of the movie. And it's I, a I, comedy? It's, it's very funny. <laughs> Actually, there's funny moments. It kind of works on all uh, uh, on all levels because it has that popcorn element. It's scary as hell. And, really? Um, oh yeah. Do you, go, uh, do you go nuts in the movie? I kind of go a little nuts. You shoot up the joint. Um, I don't shoot up because it all happens within a prison, or a lot of it happens with me inside prison. So you spend a lot of the movie going, how is he orchestrating this string of, of attacks that he's carrying out? Because I'm basically there going, you know what, okay, you made a deal and I wasn't given any justice, so I'm back now, deal with me. And, um, and yet you're still inside the prison? And I'm still this inside the awesome. prison. It, it's, it's really, i got to tell you. I don't know, I'm in serious. I'm and, like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, um, and it stars uh, Jamie Foxx and Viola Davis, who was nominated. She was here, she was here. She was here? Yeah, yeah, she, was, she sat right there. When? <laughs> now, you can't work that out. I love that. That's the worst question. I don't know, when did I? When was it? Mm. Today. Um, Monday. Tomorrow. Monday. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, yeah. I wish he was here tomorrow. <laughs> Jerry, we're out of time. Uh, come back again. And uh, you'll be great on Saturday Live. You'll be fantastic on it. I, I just know, but you should wear that jacket. Definitely. Uh, All right. Jerry Butler, great everybody. To see you. Welcome back to the show. People often say to me, Craig. 
You know, wh wh when will your friend Jerry be getting his Oscar? And I say, well, it's uh, perfectly simple. When people see his new film, Machine Gun Preacher, which is in theatres now. Take a look at that. Please welcome Jerry Butler. Yeah, Mrs. Butler's big boy. How are you? I'm very good, man. You look well. Thank you. May I congratulate you on this film? I saw it today and it's a spectacular job. I, I know that you probably think I'm yanking your chain because I've known you for a while, but <laughs> really, I watched it and I thought, gosh, I didn't know you were this good. <laughs> I mean, I knew you were good and everything and hunky and attractive, but won't you, you know... Yeah. Go? No, I know. By the way, if anybody wasn't um, digging my performance, I know you'd be the first to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not good at... I know you're not good at... Tootsie Fruitsie. Oh, no. So, um, we do not cuss <laughs> on this show, Jared Butler. <laughs> How are you? You look well. Oh, you look oh, kind man. of uh, windswept a little bit. What is, what's been going on? You I was just, I was just sending a producer. Actually, I don't think I've ever gone onto a show so kind of funky. You know, it's finally I get to. I only wear a suit. You know, like yeah. this yeah. Off, but, but like I'm getting a chance to be a little Elvis right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, why are you being so funky? Have what? you got an album coming out? Don't do it, man. <laughs> don't do it. Don't be one of them actors who's like, well, actually, what I really want to. Oh, baby, I'm a want you. Oh, you don't want to come on. No, man. I hate singing. Um, <laughs> Although, no, I don't. I, you never know. Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. Yep. Yeah. And no. Well, that may be the first time I was on here. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was when Andy McDowell was here. Remember that? Oh, there. And then you, she was here, and then you sniffed the seat. I sniffed yeah. the seat. You guys remember that? Yeah. And it, I actually kissed the seat, oh. but it looked like I was sniffing the seat oh. after she sat there. So well, that's much classier, the kissing the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been? What you've been? I haven't seen you in ages. Did uh, you learn to fly? Well, I, I know, well, I've been helicopter. I've been flying a helicopter. Helicopter? I know, I know. It's what sacrilegious. the hell? Um, so I have, like, I've been flying in Hawaii. I've been flying here in L.A. I've flying in New York. Um, are, you, are you working for a major airline? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, so I have, like, 40, 45 hours, but I haven't flown for a few months now because I went off to make uh, another movie and I came back. And now I'm surfing because I'm about surfing? to do a surf movie. No, no, yeah. no, be careful with that, man, because that's the sharks involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is. You, you know, you, you want to know the greatest concentration of great white sharks it's in America? Right along Malibu Beach, out there, man. That's yeah, nice. that's where they are. They're like, where's Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and you dolphins, care. loads of dolphins. Dolphins missing, there, yeah, that's, that's the one to beat this weekend, my friend. <laughs> oh, by the way, okay, can I just tell you something? Craig and I made a movie, um, and it's I love that he's you know talking about how this is about a dolphin <laughs> that loses its tail, because we made why, a movie. Why, man? Why are you breaking this up? Okay, because we made a movie called How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, about a boy. Dragon. Oh, about a boy who befriends a dragon who loses his damn tail. Where? I'm listening going, really? Is he really? <laughs> well, but wait, I think the movie we did was an animated uh, movie. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah, as opposed to a movie that involved, you know, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man, I know. I we, were, we were doing press for this movie, and we couldn't take... I mean, we totally loved the movie. Very yeah, it's excited, a great movie. Yeah. But we couldn't really take the press seriously, so we'd do these interviews, and we'd be on the phone together, like five journals at a time, and we just didn't give a serious answer no, to anything. They got mad at us. And this journal's like, well, you boys grow up and actually answer the questions that we're asking you. And we're like this, looking at each other, like, I... I, I what? Yeah. I like, totally felt scolded. It was really, it was, yeah. I was like, oh, could you come over and pull my hair a bit and do that again? <laughs> I think she did just come and pull my hair just before I walked on. This is yeah. what it's <laughs> I like it. It's kind of California. You look a bit Californian when you're surfing and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Are you any good at the surfing? Not really, no. But um, Can you stand up? I can stand up. On a surfboard? Can, on, on a <laughs> <laughs> then you're good. No, I've been, um, I, I actually... I'm getting pretty good. I'm getting pretty... I don't think I'll get to the stage that I'm supposed to be at, which is like one of the best big wave surfers ever. You're not going to surf the big waves, are you? The Hawaiian ones? The uh, no, and Mavericks. Mavericks? Mavericks? Yeah, but they're only 60 footers, so... You know, <laughs> it's not... It's not a problem for me. Uh, you've been surfing and you, you haven't been attacked by a shark then? I haven't been attacked by a be shark. Be careful because it only takes one. <laughs> I was... 
I was uh, I was uh, swimming with sharks uh, a couple of a year ago maybe, and it, I mean they're frightening. Oh, I heard you did. The, yeah, I did the Shark Week. You should yeah. do Shark Week. I, I, by the way, I've been praying. But I was down after the, this movie, Machine Gun Preacher. I went down uh, to Cape Town. And we all went out one night, and the next morning we had we were supposed to go out with the Great Whites. Right. Everybody went except me because I had finished my movie. I woke up and said, "I am too damn tired. I'm not going out there." They all went out. Yeah. And they came home and they wanted to make me feel bad, so they're like, "It was amazing. We saw like a hundred Great Whites." It turns out they didn't see one Great White. <laughs> they were freezing. Yeah. Had the worst day. So I'm kind of I had the best sleep. But, but here's here's the thing, man. You know, if you go out diving and you don't see any Great Whites, that's awesome. <laughs> That's a result. <laughs> you don't want it. You don't want to see them. So how was it? Was it? It was, it was all right. There were no great whites though, which is good. I saw a hammerhead and I saw a bunch of uh, Caribbean reef, reef sharks. Reef sharks. Yeah, they're, they're about 14 foot. Not really, right. about six, but 14 <laughs> foot. 14 foot if you're telling girls. You know what I mean? Well, about 30, 30 foot. I didn't know they came that size. Oh yeah, uh, that size. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that. Yeah, never mind. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. Yeah, 14 yeah. feet, really. Yeah, no, it was good. Do you do. do you what do you say? Why do women make such bad parkers? Because men tell them, you know, back, you're parking. You say parkers here? You're like parking cars? Because men tell them that this is six inches. <laughs> The old ones are the best. <laughs> you know, it's, it's nice to remember the old country, isn't it? And many of the jokes we have as children. <laughs> what about, why, why did that? Can I tell one more? Hey, it looks like we were edited, Jerry. What the hell happened? That's it was not... almost as if you told a story which was so filthy. <laughs> What? So dripping in sexuality that it, you know, the American viewing public wasn't ready for it, apparently. Are you a lawyer? Is it, what, is he no, like no, you can't, you can't say that on TV, man. You cannot. There's say what? No, you, what you said. Okay. I'm not experienced in this art of talk shows, you know. Yeah, well, let okay. me tell you a Can little bit. Can you hear a Michael Jackson joke? No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> you, look, the best thing to do is to stay in the, the theme of this show and tell no jokes whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> that way, that way, you know, listen, we're out of time. We have to very quickly do the, uh, the, uh, how do you want to get out of here? Mouth organ, awkward pause, or go, or go for the big cash prize. Uh, uh, you choose. I, 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 big cash prize. Big cash prize. Yeah. No. Wait, he hasn't won it yet. <laughs> this is uh, $50 in singles, all right? right. Um, <laughs> you buy yourself, you get your, get your board waxed for $50. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I tell you about me working in the, the, the traveling carnival like years ago when I was out here and they paid us like literally we earned two thousand dollars, most of which they paid us in dollars. This traveling carnival and we went this traveling, traveling the country carnival that paid this, you in single. With this like literally ordering rounds, like seventy dollar rounds, and we're going, thank you, thank you. Here, one, two, three, four. We just had piles of cash. But fifty I used to get paid in singles when I was dancing. <laughs> When I was teaching the ladies how to park. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. All right, you have to answer one question. Okay. One question, and you can win the big cash prize. Okay. All right, here's the, here's the question. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> then the capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay. Here's the question. Okay. How tall is Regis Philbin? <laughs> Uh, five foot eight. Five foot seven. Four feet seven. <laughs> five foot five. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Five foot five. Give it a Show me the money! All I'm saying is that the interior design aspects of Versailles is something that maybe we could incorporate into the studio. You know, you like interior design, obviously, given, you know, who you are. I'm not sure what you're implying or why you're moving your head that way. Well, you know, just I would have thought, given that, you know, who you are, you would have been interested in interior design, if you know what I'm saying. Well, given who I am, yeah, yeah. and that I'm interested in interior design, yeah. I think is that a good point. Well, is it a stereotype to think that a gay robot skeleton would be interested in interior design? I mean, perhaps I'm, you know, perhaps I'm pigeonholing you, and that is not code. Damn.
But I agree, Craig. I think a little uh, redo of the studio might be nice. It might be nice is what I'm saying. Something a little more Baroque, a little more Rococo, a little more ornate, a little more twirly-whirly. <laughs> now those are code and I know it. No! No, that's not code. A well, little twirly-whirly. Twirly-whirly yeah. is code, yeah. yeah. All right. You liked Versailles, though, didn't you? I loved Versailles. Do you know what I like? Do you know what I liked most about Versailles? What did you like most about Versailles? Was I when I had a quiet moment and I was walking around, I was pretending I was the Queen of France. <laughs> you do that too, buddy. I do it right here every night. That's awkward. <laughs> Why is it awkward? Well, because I'm standing here at the podium and you're over there pretending to be a woman. No, not a woman, the Queen of France. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Did the Queen of France look like a lesbian? <laughs> How dare you? You know I'm sensitive about looking a bit like a lesbian. Yeah, and Liza Minnelli. I couldn't resist, I'm sorry. That's all right. I sometimes tease you about only being able to move your hand and can't move more than 12 foot from an outlet. I hate you. Yes, but victory is mine. <laughs> Quick, we have to get back on the plane to get back to France for tomorrow's show. <laughs>